Our topic today, Storming Area 51. Comical? Serious? Or sinister? So I got to thinking about this topic because I'm still hearing about it on the news. I wasn't going to make a video about it, but here I am. You've heard the story. A million people set to storm the gates of Area 51 and see damn aliens. Sounds a bit nutty on the front of it. Um, there's a couple good reasons why you definitely wouldn't want to do that. Uh, one, you can be shot on site. It's a definite kill zone. They have people out there just ready and waiting to pull that trigger. Um, if you don't get shot, you can be arrested. And let's say, let's say just for the sake of argument, you make it through the gate with, uh, you know, a couple hundred of your friends. Or in this case, 500,000 or a million. You still have miles and miles of desert to go through before you even get to the base. There's mines, there's carcinogenic uh, refuse, uh, there's uh, Edwards Air Force Base nearby with a very large segment of soldiers just waiting, you know, to stop exactly something like this with very good armaments, you know. But then I thought, you know, let's say a, let's say a million people showed up and let's say for whatever reason, this wouldn't be detected because they don't, the military doesn't read the internet. Let's say that the airline uh, bump of a million people coming into an area that only generally sees something on the order of maybe 800,000 in Las Vegas. Let's say that didn't set off red flags, okay? When you get there, what do you plan on finding out? Let's say you get to the building. What do you plan on, what do you plan on finding out? You can't get in. There's going to be people trying to stop you. There's going to be dead bodies all around you. And even if you do get there, there's still radiation from some of the uh, experiments that have gone on there. There's still uh, chemicals that are there. There's still all sorts of nasty, nasty things just in the desert alone that live there. So it's a really bad idea. But then I got to thinking, and this is the clever bit. What if this was just a PSYOP? What if this was a situation where, let's say, the government just wanted to get a list of all the people crazy enough to try it. Or what if a foreign government wanted to get a list of people who are easily influenced so they could use that information to target them in further operations, be it political um, or, you know, action-oriented protest-wise, in the upcoming elections uh, in 2020. So think about it. Now, you know, I'm not, you know, going to come down one way or another uh, on any of this. It's just something I thought about, and it's something worth thinking about. The people that signed up for this took their information and put it into a database saying, yeah, I'm good for this. That's, data is king. It's worth something to somebody. And, you know, I hope you're not one of those people that did it. But uh, if you are, keep an eye, you know, keep an eye out on your news feeds. Keep an eye out on uh, your emails and, uh, you know, your messaging and things that come in. And definitely keep an eye towards, am I being influenced into thinking something I normally wouldn't? So... That's it today. Uh, just something to think about. Um, you know, Storm Area 51. Comical joke. But could have serious or even sinister implications if you're not careful. So, uh, that's it. I'm Lourdes. Uh, this is my channel, Lourdes Hassan. Please share and subscribe. And if you like, go down to the description and support us through our Patreon account. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.